plasma has the two different characteristics. One is, is the physical characteristics. When we use the, that characteristic in the space to generate the thrust, maneuvering of the satellite or transporting to the, the Mars or the beyond. We're using the same plasma, but using the chemical characteristics to inactivate the airborne pathogens to protect the NHS people in, inside of the hospital. Hospitals are full of sick people, so their immune system can be deficient. And if there's one patient who has got an airborne pathogen, it's going to rapidly spread around. So it's important to make sure the air is clean. Currently, the filtration systems are doing a job, but the figures suggest that it's not uh, working 100%. We found the plasma is actually very efficient at killing uh, microorganisms quite rapidly. And one advantage, obviously, you don't have any effluent, you don't have any contamination. So unlike chemical decontamination, you don't have to rinse anything. And if it's air pollution, uh, it's the same thing. You don't have all the residues after treatment. One of the major advantages of potentially going towards this plasma-based system is that the current uh, filtration systems essentially you know, block the airflow as it goes through the HVAC system. And that blockage means that you have to pump the, the motors harder to actually keep the air flowing through. We hope that by actually replacing those blocking filters with this essentially a different type of filtration system, the airflow requirements for the pumps will be lower and therefore the electricity consumptions will be lower, which in turn will lead to lower carbon emissions. The potential of this project is the huge. Initially, we plan to apply the hospitals, but it can be expanded for the home, large buildings. It can be used the public transportation everywhere we bleed to protect us.